All right, guys, welcome back to another quick and easy repair. I told you guys I was going to do a T12 to T8 ballast conversion when I came across one, and I finally had one go bad. The T12s don't go bad very often, which is uh, I think they're a much better they're a much better uh, ballast, but uh, they're a lot more complicated to wire. They're uh, harder to come by nowadays because everybody's switching over to T8. So uh, you might as well switch it over to T8 when you when you get a bad T12 ballast. Uh, now here's the two bulbs, two different types of bulbs. The T8 bulb is on the left and the T12 bulb is on the right. You can tell you have a T12 ballast usually if you have the big thicker bulbs in there. But uh, if you, uh, uh, that's not always the case because someone could have put the wrong bulbs in. So uh, there's another way to tell. I'll show you here in a minute. The first thing you want to do is turn off the power at the light switch. Never remove light bulbs or anything until you've turned off the power. Uh, next, you can look at the wiring. Once you remove the bulbs, you can look at the wiring. A T12 ballast has a whole bunch more wires. And uh, this is a four-bulb fixture. For a two-bulb fixture, you're still going to have a ton of ton of wires. Uh, as you can see, there the wiring's crazy on a T12. You don't want to have to replicate it. You don't want to have to figure it out. It's not worth the trouble. Just change it out with a T8 because T8s are very simple to wire. I have another tutorial already showing how to install a T8, but this is a conversion from T8 to T12. The next thing you want to do after you've uh, identified that you have T12 ballasts is uh, remove the black and white wire coming out of the ceiling into the light fixture. You want to locate those and uh, disconnect them. Uh, and then reconnect and then put the wire the wire nuts back on the two wires that come out of the ceiling. That way, if someone accidentally turns on the light switch, you won't get shocked. Next, remove all of the wires from the quick connects at the end. I call them tombstones because they kind of look like tombstones. Remove every single one of them. And uh, then it should look like this. Uh, with no wires, you take all of the ballasts loose from their mounts. They're usually held in place with a nut on one side, and they slip into a slot on the other side. So you want your fixture to look like this, plain and simple, nothing connected. Uh, then on one side, you're going to want to put a jumper between the two outside ports. If it's a two-bulb fixture, you're going to only need one jumper. Uh, after that, you pull out your uh, T8 ballast, unwrap it, and uh, mount it in place. Uh, as you can see, you got two reds, two blues, and two yellows. Uh, and you also have a black and white, of course. You put the two reds on one side, the two blues on the other side. If it's a two-bulb fixture, you're only going to have either red or blue. I'm not sure which. I don't deal with a lot of two-bulb fixtures. Uh, but either way, you want if it's a four-bulb fixture, you want red, red, blue, blue. Uh, and on the opposing side, well, this is a farther out shot of it. On the opposing side, you're going to have yellow jumper yellow jumper you see the yellows going in and then the jumper goes over to the other tombstone the yellow comes in and the little jumper you added goes over to the other tombstone now remember you're going to put a t8 bulb back if you uh you don't want to put the same t12 bulbs back in the t8 fixture now that you've changed it over to a t8 uh from a t12 uh usually they'll have writing on it that says t8 or t12 somewhere on the bulb but it's pretty easy to identify them because the T8 bulbs are much skinnier and uh, the T12 bulbs are much fatter. You put the new bulbs back in, you put the center island back in, put the cover back on, test it out and see if it works, and uh, that's your repair. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I've got a lot more repairs on my channel. and uh, Check them out. And also, oh, check out my book on... Uh, well, it's on Kindle, and it's also on uh, Amazon.com on paperback. Check it out and uh, see if you like that. Hey guys, ready? Let's do this. Let's do this.